Africa is marking the 25th anniversary of Nelson Mandela's release from prison, a day as so many of us remember. The anti-apartheid leader became the country's first black president four years later. Although Mandela died in 2013, South Africa's tributes demonstrate his inspiration and vision. They're very much still alive. CCTV's Rene Del Karma reports. On the 11th of February 1990, thousands of people lined the streets outside the Victor Fester prison near in Paul, all the way to Cape Town to see Nelson Mandela walk free after 27 years behind bars. But today, a much smaller crowd turned up at the prison to celebrate the 25th anniversary. One of the top six national ANC leaders, Jesse Duarte, recalled the excitement she'd shared with her comrades. I only remember the listening to a little radio. Um, there was no TV in the office at the time. When I heard commotion and shouting and screaming and that he had actually come through the gate with Winnie at his side and a description of that. And Everybody in that room was in tears. We were quite a number of us. There, there was no need for words. Uh, it was the culmination of years and years of struggle. We all felt an emotion uh, very clearly expressing that this is the beginning of where we walk from. Freedom had arrived. Rose Santo was selected to drive Mandela out of the prison. I felt so honored that this man, uh, that I was not allowed to talk about. Here he is now being driven by me out of prison. Uh, it was such a historic moment for me. ANC leaders reminded their supporters just how hard Nelson Mandela and others had worked on the Constitution to ensure freedom for all South Africans and said it had to be protected as part of Madiba's legacy. Former President F.W. de Klerk, who'd ordered Mandela's release, described the day as a turning point in modern history. Mandela went on to lead the country for five years until 1999. He died in December 2013. Rene Dalcom, CCTV, Paul, in South Africa's Western Cape Province.